Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Friday Night Flies. And who we got in front of the camera today? Oh, it's Boulder, and we're here at the special headquarters of Superfly. Oh, you stole the, uh, the uh, catalog. Catalog. Oh, that's that's all right. Yeah, let's see there. So this is what we had to do when we come in. I swear that I will not pass on any trade secrets. <laughs> yeah, they patted us um, down too. Gee, yeah, it was we're awesome. here, Superfly. We weren't allowed to carry our cameras in there. We weren't allowed to do anything. Yeah, I know. I don't blame them though, man. It's like the Holy Grail in there. There's the whole, uh, the, the yeah, mecca. a lot of trade secrets back there. I was snapping some of the photos and some of the old, uh, what was the coolest thing I saw? It was the machine that does the dubbing. <laughs> that thing was like medieval. Awesome. Yeah. You know awesome. what, I think, can we share a photo of that, maybe yeah. down the road? Okay, nice. so yeah. we're allowed to show a couple of the machines. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to show you later. And then I had the orgasm on the wall of um, Bucktail. <laughs> Man, I think it was so cool. Just, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen so much Bucktail. Yeah. Um, but they've been very kind. Jenna let us come in. She's the, uh, the owner, correct? Mm -hmm. Or CEO of uh, Superfly here in Edmonton, in Alberta. And uh, Joe's been... Walking us through the whole shop and showing us the reins and and uh, the girls in the back of the shop putting everything together and just seeing how it all comes to the stores. So it's been a really awesome day, uh, and uh, we just did the shop floor fly. Uh, we're doing another shop floor fly, but this one's the Alberta brown trout slayer or fly. <laughs> um, so yes, Brad and I have been fishing. It is minus five. Um, the rivers are pretty frozen. Yeah, we got a couple drove, bangs. Yeah, we were driving out to, to a secret location. We'll say west of Red Deer. We're yeah. not going to give away any rivers, but uh, we were driving over. There's lots of rivers out there. Uh, nothing really big. There's a couple bigger streams. Rivers. Trout streams, streams like yeah. your classic trout streams. Lots of undercut yeah. and log jams and meandering. Excited to come back when they're not frozen over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. It was so. tough fishing, but hey, when you drive all day, you know we're going fishing. Oh, 100%. <laughs> but yeah, like we're, we're showing like a lot of the product in the background. Oh, yeah. Um, I should actually share here because they, they've got an online catalog as well. Just to show what they have, I'm just going to black it out here. But if you check it out, pretty straightforward. Simply superfly.com. Check out their product list. You get a taste of that stuff. You're not going to want to use anything else. But, Scotty, let's take a look at what you got there. Yeah, tonight. let's get to why you're watching, right? So we're going to be doing up a brown fly streamer here, uh, working with some rabbit strip. Yeah, that's, that's good. Is that too close? Or no, you got, that should be good. good. And, uh, yeah, so we got ourselves, of course, super fly hooks. Boom, boom. Number two. Or sorry, number four. These are the streamer hooks, down-eyed. Seem pretty nice and strong. And uh, I did want to use a different thread here. Wow, reach. Switch out. Old fly to new fly. Uh, we got some um, six ox camel. Seems to be one of my favorite threads lately. My favorite thread colors. Superfly also does one. One of their threads, super fly, super strong. Yep, the regular is super super thread, and the 350 is the super strong. There you go. Brad's a fan of the super strong. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a this beast on the vice. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, when you're tying salmon flies, especially for chum. Oh my god. Yeah, if you ever just Google it, chum teeth, chum salmon teeth, and you'll know why I use that that super strong. There's nothing in this world that'll chew through that stuff when it's on a hook. No. So what's becoming really good with super flies, they got everything. Now you can make your fly, as you're going to see, 100% super fly. And... That would be crazy for us to do anything on, but super fly. Get in there. We're a super fly. Hey, so, we're using some of these uh, fly eyes. 532 size. I've actually been using a lot of these ones. They're neat. they got the uh, protruding eye on there. And uh, we're going to get that onto the bottom of the shank. And what I really like about these ones is that the little gap here 
is a lot tighter than a lot of the other products. So it fits on the hook shank a lot better. With a lot of the other ones, the gap is really wide and you really have to work on positioning it this way, not alone having it straight. And these ones fit right onto the hook so they stay in the middle, which then in turn means that your fly is going to be riding true. Because if it's off just by a bit, it don't work. And uh, yep, that's nice and straight. Let's see the old shaky hands here. We got the uh, Superfly lacquer head cement. Put a little drop in there, and that'll help to keep your flies from spinning, or your eyes from spinning. Lock it down. Lock it down, that's right. All right, so we're going to move our thread back, and we're coming to, um, this is a nice, long, straight hook back here, so I'm going to come back to about the barb, and we're just going to start building this up. So I got a bit of rabbit strip here, I think. Like I said, shop floor stuff. I'm pretty sure that's rabbit. Ooh, that was a lot bigger than I thought it was. So... Maybe Brad can fill in some time here while I just do a quick yeah, little no, nip. Uh, I gotta trim this mega strip down. Shelf life floor. Um, we did a little bit of a videography of our trip out here from beautiful Pemberton to uh, cowboy country out here in Edmonton, Alberta. You gotta check out that. We're gonna post a little video of us driving pretty well continuous through snowstorm for what was it 10 hours long time yeah we probably drove by about 50 cars in the right. ditch but anyhow it was a little interesting to say the least uh, we took a few pictures of a few uh, village signs and city signs on the way by so we'll, we're gonna put something together here on the on the cuff so we're back at the fly we're back at the fly so I got a strip that's probably equivalent to a rabbit strip width here and uh, we're going to get that tied in. I don't want it too, too long. It's going to be about the length of your shaft. I'm just going to... You know what? I might just get all of that right on there. Nice and big buggy. So the reason for the rabbit strip, Scotty, is for these guys that are tucking these flies in underneath the banks, for these brownies, is that we all use mallard, or not mallard, but uh, marabou before. And it's famous for doing the old loop on the hook. Yes. And you might only get one or two presentations at most for these big brownies in Alberta. And I mean big, they are honking big. And you don't want that sucker twisting up around. Six pounds of trout. Well, I had, I had one monster hit. I think it was an Alberta record, actually. Hey, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> but he spit the hook just as quick as I had him hooked. i seen the... Uh, the big eye come out of the water, and that was it. That was it. That was all. That's all she wrote, eh? It was an Alberta record, just for the record. Just for the record? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got our little zonker rabbit strip on the back. I'm going to grab a little bit of this crystal flash. And Funny thing was, last time I was in Alberta, we were down in Edmonton, and what's that big lake that's famous for the big pike there? Um, there's another one there too. I think it's is it, it's not Sullivan. It's, there's another one right there in, at Red Deer, between Red Deer and Edmonton. I think it is because they're Joffrey, and then you head east. Pine, Pine Lake. That was it. I uh, the last time I was here probably was for like 15, 20 years ago. I watched the Alberta pike get caught record. It was 40. I think it was 46 pounds. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it looked like an alligator. Oh really? Oh, it was massive. You know, and then I was I was fishing with an ex-girlfriend's dad at the time, and uh, I'm trolling around all these big lures and whatever, and then this guy rolls in that's been, that caught the big fish. Yep. And it looked like a boat for a small rodent. <laughs> like it was massive. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's why I'm not catching anything. <laughs> Because I'm using like two, three inch spoons and this guy's using like frick. It must have been 10 inch, 12 inch spoon. Like it was just massive. Right on. It was phenomenal. So yeah, I went to to town there and bought myself a couple big spoons and then we started getting into some pike. So I was using the wrong stuff. And yeah, we'll get back to the fly. All right, so we tied in just a little bit of flash, a couple of uh, strands on each side. 
And now I got myself some um, salmon colored, almost salmon slash fluorescent pink. And this is, uh, you're not going to be able to find this exact color, but you're going to pick up some, some salmon colored rabbit. Uh, it's always tough to get that first wrap. I'm going to counter wrap then. So that's the way it wants to lay. And we're going to wrap all the way up the body. Um, yeah, this one's a package of uh, off-dyed stuff. Is it hooked on the hook or something? Something. Or yeah, it's just yeah, 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 it's just the rabbit. It'll get uh, it'll get sorted out. So we're gonna go all the way up the hook shank with this stuff. Ooh, tacky. Super what fly. did we say? Super flies. <laughs> super sharp. Super, super sharp. Tacky. Sticky. All right. So that's gonna be our nice big body in there. So I leave enough room. Do the head in. I don't necessarily always like going the other way with rabbit fur, but we'll get her in there. Now when I get my thread going the right way. Too much coffee this morning. There we go. <laughs> well, it's because you're wrapping. Brains. The, yeah, yeah. You're wrapping. Brains fighting itself there. All right, so we got our rabbit in. proper. Alright, I'm going to make sure I get this bit in there nice and tight. Beauty. Now I'm going to go with some nice peacock. Yeah, I think that was a uh, peacock that was getting beat up regularly by a big peacock. By another big one? Yeah, poor so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick a couple pieces around this. Two on each side. And uh, we'll have them coming just back towards the tail there. You can use rubber legs for this if you wish as well. Let's get rid of these tags. Just kind of make sure that they're positioned on e either side there. There we go. That's where I like them. Those tags in there, good. Alright, now what was I going to do? I had a bunch of darker marabous. Here we go. Alright, so I went all over the floor and found a bunch of these nice olive marabou, which we're going, because it's kind of ratty, as it is from the floor. But if you have ratty, actually I might be able to, no, we're going to do doubling loop on this stuff. Just a little dubbing loop in there. There's my hook. I'm just going to keep that over there until I get my fibers ready. So I'm going to go with my marabou here. Pick it off. Your strims. Line up those tips. And a little bit more. Edmonton's been a fun town. Oh, it's been great. It has been. You know, the, the craziest thing is how damn straight them roads are. <laughs> I mean, so I, straight. I, I put my truck in cruise and uh, I had a snooze. Cruise and snooze, <laughs> well, eh? I woke up in Red Deer. <laughs> <laughs> I was steering with my knee. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I got all my clumps here. I'm going to kind of measure it up so that it's. Uh, Hitting that pink. That pink is, is going to be an undertone to this fly when it's angulating. So it's not the, the main color. So I'm going to kind of measure them up there. I'm going to go to the back. Trim off all that stem. So you get a nice, clean butt section. And you're going to get that into your dubbing loop. Now this is the hard part. So when you get it in there, you want to keep that thread really close 
to that those tag ends that you just cut. Close your loop a little bit and then very gently spread this stuff out along that, that loop. Let's see if I can hold it up and do it. Yeah. So yeah, just kind of show you what I'm doing. If I keep it up there it's all gonna fall out. And just kind of keep spreading it out a little bit by little bit. You're gonna lose a lot of material, it's alright. If you have some nice short strung marabou, then you can pick off the individual feathers, tie them into the tips, and just wrap them around your hook. And then this is your other way of doing it. I kind of like this way a little bit more because it gives a little bit more bulk on the inside of the fly. So it's going to give this fly more of a sculpin head. It's going to give it that thicker, Lots of in Alberta. thicker Lots body. Of yeah. Uh, we noticed that. So you got your your nice marabou wrap here, and we're gonna try and get it right up on that pink where we ended off. There we go. Stroke your fibers back as you go. There's a lot of different species. Like I was blown away. Like we were seeing them in the river while we were just standing on the banks looking down. I've seen a lot of white fish. There's a lot of. Uh, is there grayling here? There are, but more north of Edmonton. Okay, so you're looking at about a two-hour drive before you start grayling. Okay, okay, so we've yeah. seen we've seen trout. Mm -hmm. um, what are what are some of the predominant species that you'll catch in this? Central Alberta? Is very much pike and walleye country. Yeah, um, we have a lot of uh, stocked pothole lakes where the uh, aeration programs so they do get big. Um, you know, it's not uncommon to have lakes with four and six pound rainbows. <laughs> government trout, government trout as we call them. We're coming, um, we're coming back. You know, with the aeration program, those are possible. Um, and then when you head east toward the foothills, and when you're getting into the cutthroats and the browns, and uh, and a lot of whitefish, a lot of uh, mountain whitefish, yeah. and actually there's a lot of lake whitefish in the lakes around here, which could get very big. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to bring. Uh, you know what? I, what I, boats the first thing that was exactly what I said to you. We're boat. driving. This is drift boat country. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. In Calgary, you'll see drift boats are all over the place. Oh place. yeah. Wow. Because yeah. you know what the thing is, is that there's roads every mile. Like well, there's a lot of road. access because of because mm -hmm. of oil, gas, and logging. There's a lot of access roads to a lot of water. It didn't used to be. Yeah. You know, which you know, plus and minuses to all of that. But um, drift you know, fishermen, you, you can get to a lot of places. With you a, you a need to check out Alberta. <laughs> yeah, it's in a lot of nice water, nice mellow. All right, guys. So I got myself what appears to be a deer. Hair. Deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the end of an olive bucket. Yeah. So I'm not going to put it where I was just going to put it because it's going to make my fly float upside down. And I'm going to put a little bit right behind these eyes. Help stand this fly up. I'll just put a couple of wraps in there, pull them nice and tight. Keep it right up on top of that fly, gives it that little bit of that nice dark back. So you're going to have all this nice fiber underneath, angulating. And then I'm just going to trim this stuff back if I can, because my hands are so shaky. That impressive shaky. Impressive. What happens when you drink a, too much coffee in one day? Well, I like that little bit of cut on the head there. That's awesome. So we'll just kind of sneak around that again. And then we're going to finish this up with just a bit of dubbing. Which color are we going? Right there. What do we got? Oh, it doesn't say on it. Dark. What are you going for? Um, I'm going to do this. Orangey color, orangey gold, rust. Yep, that's, right. that's what she looks like. Oh, got your diamond dub. Now I'm going to put it on loose this time. Turn up this. And I'm going to get in front of those little tag ends, a couple of them. Basically, figurating 
those eyes. Let's get that marble out of there. And down here, slide her up. There we go. I want to cooperate, Marabu. It'll lick the fingers. Trip. Yeah, I might have to flick that stuff back. You found that hook, I see. You can hear that, eh? Yeah. Tink. Oh, you're not behind yet. There you go. There you go. You read all that. Pull it forward. There we go. Get rid of this excess. And with my fingers, I'm just going to get that dubbing back, get it away from the eye. A little head in there, a little whip finish. Oh man, that blood came out nice. I've got a feeling we're going to have to test that sucker out. Down on the boat. I bet you that would work for pretty well everything that's around here. Walleye, pike, rounds, fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back to this nice lacquer head cement. You know what, Joe? This is a good fly for your company. It's got a good material list. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm good, good for good that. It helps yeah. sell stuff. I <laughs> am. Ten different things. Yeah. I am very good for that. Yeah. I'm the complicated fly guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm looking at that. Okay, I'm going to just zoom in on that guy here a little bit, Scotty. You're done tying, right? Yep, I'm done. It's done. Oh, that thing is beauty. Look at that fly. Give her a slow roll. Oof. You know that peacock curl? Man, that really complements that fly big time. That's beautiful. All that needs to happen to that thing. It just needs a little, little grooming. Gets everything flowing. Because it has been sitting on the vise here. Gets all that green going. Mixed in with that pink underneath. That nice flesh tone. Beauty. Money. I am. Hey. It, it. Another Superfly original. That is a beautiful fly, bud. Beautiful. Anyhow, we'll take it out here. <laughs> we got to get the autofocus going on now. There we go. <laughs> so thanks for joining us here at the headquarters of Superfly in Edmonton. Um, hopefully we'll be invited back for some future episodes. And uh, don't forget to drop by Spud Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Birch Street. If we don't got it, you don't need it. And visit us on Pemberton Fish Finder for all your fishing reports, fishing videos, booking your tours. Hey, even if you like to talk about fishing, man, give us a jingle. Yeah. Hey, we got our, what's our email there? Info, Info at, at PembertonFishFinder.com and also join us at uh, FridayNightFlies.com. Well, Friday Night Flies email is info at Friday Night Flies, is it? Or is it Scott at Friday Night Scott Flies? Scott at Friday Night Flies. Yeah, that's a good one too because then you can talk great right with the man himself. Yep, I'm usually pretty good at getting back to you if you have left a message and yeah. Happy time, guys. Be creative. As you can see, you can Those fish are in trouble. have at her, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We're going to try our best to get a hold of Joe here, see if he can get something going here. If, if you get a good-looking fella in behind the vice. Joe's got, Joe's got a face for radio, so he's probably going to stay right here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>